know, there are a few new Android phones popping out these days. Our next guest has one that just might catch your attention. It's going to be doing some unique things. We want to tell you about it. He's the CEO of a company called Sagus, the future of the Internet. Chad Sayers. Hey, Chad, welcome into tomorrow. How are you doing? Good, Dave. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Pleasure to have you with us. Now, how does your phone differ from some of the other Android phones? Of course, one of the ones getting a lot of attention these days, uh, I carry as well, is the Droid, Motorola Droid on Verizon. So what have you got? Well, uh, you, not only is it an Android device, but I think, you know, we look at the Android in, in, the, uh, in the community and we take a look at the different kinds of people that are de developing them, and it's everybody is on Android devices, or they're trying to build one. Sure. Well, we've been working in the Linux world for a long time. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And fortunately for us, uh, the Android came out, which is great because that was sort of our field as a development company. Uh, we develop a lot of different kinds of software, but our forte really is two-way video calling. So uh -huh. it's, it's been a, an issue around the world. Um, there's probably f maybe 5%, uh, maybe a little better, a little less than that of the networks that can provide two-way video calling. So this is America's first two-way video calling cell phone. And, and, it's, cellular on, video and it's on the Android platform, as, is as you mentioned, becoming more and more popular. I don't know of any manufacturer that either doesn't have one or is thinking about one or creating one at, at some point. So apparently the Android platform, uh, the popularity of that operating system has become very cool. It really has. It's, I mean, it, and you'll see more and more devices coming out because it is not just because it's free, but it opens it up to the community to develop and continue to develop. So yeah. what we think that is going to happen is the fact that our device has a two-way video capability, it's a low bandwidth, high resolution cellular video capability that has never been done in the United States uh, that we know of. Uh, we've been doing video calls in the U.S. for about two, almost getting close to two and a half years. And we believe that along with the capability of, I mean, you can literally connect through the internet um, eight laptops to this. So it's a pretty exciting device. Yeah, the the, uh, the um, ability to be you know anywhere and not have a connection, but connect through your phone yeah. uh, makes it a very valuable device as well. And of course, the, you know, the Droid's got a cool screen. Uh, we have about the same resolution. It's designed for uh, being able to do media. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, having that uh, and uh, capability with battery for seven hours of talk time is huge. Very. Yeah. That's something else that's not uh, very often heard of in the cellular phone handset industry. So Especially seven hours smart, of talk time. Right. The smartphone is tough to do that. Sure. Because they tend to suck up all kinds of juice for everything that you're running all the various applications and things. That's so. right. So the power management has been a big issue for us. <clears throat> Making sure, excuse me, the video calling capability is very clear and very good. And we've uh, been able to get the kind of support from companies uh, like Verizon. Particularly Verizon has been our, uh, is, the, is the company that we've been working with. We're in their lab right now. Uh, and it's pretty exciting. They seem to be excited about what we're doing, and, and we're working with them closely and uh, look forward to a great relationship with them. So now this is called the V phone, the one that we're holding and showing on video right now? That's correct. And if you'd like, I can uh, kind of do a couple of things. For those of you who are familiar with the Android OS, that, of course, is what we would consider the dial pad. Um, and if you uh, press over here, I love the, the capability of three buttons because you just have a back button, two clicks puts you to the, to the main page, mm -hmm. and then the middle one gives you options so if you're looking to go into settings, or in this case, I'm just going to jump into the wallpaper, and it gives you a number of uh, real beautiful pictures. Very cool. And right away is a neat gallery. Now, is this on the Android 2.0 platform? The uh, yeah, that's, yeah, right now we're doing some testing on, uh, it's not on the, that platform yet. We have to make sure we get approval from Google. Mm -hmm. But uh, we should be there. We expect it's going to be a device that will be right up there uh, with the best of the best, especially with that low bandwidth video calling capability. Oh, for sure. And this will be something that we'd have to get, of course, from the carrier. In this case, hopefully Verizon is going to have it first. Is that the plan? That is what our plan is, yes, okay. is to work with them, first of all, make it available to their resellers through the ODI, which is the Open Development Initiative. Uh, we expect to be the, we hope to be the first uh, phone that's approved through them. And real quick, how soon might it be available? We're looking very soon. For us, it's a week-by-week -week thing, and sure. we're hoping it's the end of this year or sooner. Yeah. Maybe uh, just in, in time for the holidays. We're, be nice. we're expecting that. Well, make sure you let us know. We'll share it with our audience. Meantime, we invite you to visit their site at sagus.com, S-A-Y-G-U-S, like say Gus. Dot com. Easy to remember. Get there. Chad, thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us. Thank you very much, Dave. It's our pleasure.